Hello, I just wanted to report on my progress since doing the lightning process four years ago today. I am talking to you from quarantine in Thailand. I have just got a new job here um, as an environmental education facilitator. So firstly, now I'm going, going backwards. So I have just survived two weeks of quarantine and done jet lag with absolutely no problem at all. I survived much, much, much better than my friends who came here and hadn't done the lightning process. I have survived doing anxiety with obviously the 2020 year of the pandemic. I have done a masters uh, since the lightning process and in that masters it was a very very physical physically and mentally demanding masters. I did a canoeing expedition as part of the masters. I did a hiking expedition. I went on placement to Tanzania where I worked with local communities in the Serengeti. I as part of my masters spent a year in Kenya doing research, living in a Maasai village with not particularly good um, good nutritious food or, uh, or very good sleep because the dogs were barking, the hyenas were howling. Um, absolutely no problem at all. I have, uh, a few months after the lightning process, I did, a, I did an internship with Save the Elephants in Kenya. And I have just been absolutely normal and it's just incredible and I will say to everyone out there that it's the most amazing thing you'll ever do. It takes commitment, it takes drive, it takes passion but it's 100% worth it. It's just that's no, not even worth like questioning whether or not it's worth it. It's 150 billion percent worth it. I now have 100% faith that I will be well forever and it's incredible. So happy, wonderful four years of being fit and healthy. I have to say I will, I've also been doing two workouts a day in quarantine. I've been doing a Joe Wicks one and some yoga meditation stuff and absolutely wonderful. I'm strong, I'm fit, I'm happy. I have um, been through some challenges as normal life throws you, uh, essay deadlines and um, research per permits not working out and the loss of my grandmother but with the process it's no problem.